Hey, good morning. <clears throat> Today we're talking about a little bit of a fixer upper uh, financial risk in California metros and what you get for a million dollars. Let's get moving. Okay, let's see real quick. Bam. Here we go. All right. A little bit of a fixer upper. Where is it? Why am I staying in this? This guy right here. Look at this guy. Um, I want to show you some stuff. Yeah. Um, these are just photos that I took for my disclosures because this house was, uh, this is how we're selling the house. $700,000. Everything has to be touched on this house, which is kind of scary when you think about it. But, oh, I mean, Sellers didn't want to fix anything. They didn't want to update anything. I suggest they didn't because this would have cost $150,000 to $200,000 to get up to basic standards. Just everything on this house was just not done right. So we're going to be selling this thing here pretty quick. Let me see if I can show you the... Yeah, there it is. This is it right here, Inman Way, three bedroom, one and a half bath. I don't know why they rounded up and 960 square feet. Yet, this is the lowest priced home in that area based on comps. Built in 1960, one car garage. This garage was converted and there is also a, a conversion in the back. It was a sunroom. Let's see if I can get this over here for you. This door leads to where a sunroom was. This used to be a slider and they just put a regular door there. <clears throat> this is it right here. This was a sunroom, which was permitted from what I saw. And then they enclosed it and put drop ceiling into it. And this, this floor slopes because it was an exterior foundation floor. So when rain comes, it slopes away from the house. But yeah, there you go. That's what you get for seven hundred thousand dollars. Now, uh, this next. For uh, I think we're heading into a recession. There's a lot of red flags there that talk to me about this, and you can read this while I'm talking. Um, rents are lower than what your mortgage could be i talked about that on monday or tuesday where how much how much house can you afford and quite frankly if you can rent something for five or six thousand dollars a month it's much better than 14 or fifteen thousand dollars a month so people are opting to rent right now even though it's hard to rent um, there's less supply there's less de uh there's the demand has gone down but because rates go are, have gone down demand is slowly going up um, that doesn't mean it's not out of range people tend to buy stuff that they can't afford and um, a lot of these things that go into it so that to income ratio foreclosure rate homeowner rate houses that are unbanked those are families that grew up uh, outside the US system and are accustomed to mattress money Fraud and identity theft complaints per capita. I've been talking about this for, I don't know, a couple of months now, since August. It's it's a common thing, guys. I'm telling you, it's in the news. You just have to open your eyes to it. Poverty rate is climbing because affordability is out there. And it's because we're printing trillions of dollars every year that we are never intending to pay back. So every time we print a dollar, it becomes less affordable for Americans to live on the whole, right? Now, we're in Silicon Valley where you make good money and uh, you're either a, an owner or a renter and you're in a comfortable, comfortable position. But there's people that are growing up right now, getting into the market, getting out of high school, getting out of college, and they're struggling because they can't make, make ends meet. I see it all the time. So there's a huge separation of have and have nots. And I understand that. I'm just 
grateful that I have a house and that I live in a great little town, a little town, one of the biggest cities in, the, in America, but I'm fortunate that I have that. My children are going to struggle to be able to live in an area like this, any other metropolitan area. In the United States, this is just California, right? Now, we're in safe, as a safe zone. These areas right here, and Ryan Lundquist, if you see this, maybe we can talk about this on a, on a podcast about the higher risk in Sacramento of all of this stuff happening, right? Bye, baby. So personal bankruptcy filings are going up. Unemployment is going up, even though we're reporting everything's flat or going down. It depends, right? I mean, I see tons of tech companies doing layoffs gladly here in our area because we're such a strong economy if you get laid off today you'll have a job tomorrow unless you have some issues so i would suggest you read this it's we're in a risky precarious situation where we could implode probably won't do it but um we need to we need to figure out a more conservative less progressive plan that helps us look for sustainability in housing and affordability and living costs because you can't make a living living working at a burger king or taco bell you just can't or panera so there you go. Okay, let's talk about what you can get for a million dollars. Let's look at this bad boy right here. Cheswick. I was looking at it, and this one's a million dollars. Let's go back to Cheswick. I don't know why I started there. There we go. Okay, look at that. That kind of looks familiar, doesn't it? It looks like my guy right here. But it's a million dollars because it's larger. It's 1,370 square feet, three-bedroom, two full baths, single-story. I've been in uh, this model before, very well aware of the floor plan, and it's it's a good floor plan. It's just this house is a little rough, and it's a renter in there. It's right by Las Lagos uh, Golf Course. Last time I played there, I saw a couple foxes, and I gave them a little bit of my hot dog. Original list price was nine ninety nine. It's been on the market thirty six days. See now. 30 days, you're, you're, you need to open up your eyes and say, maybe there's something wrong with the price. Where Where is this, right? We talk about this all the time. You have to come to the price. You have to make it so that people come to you. You can't be a market maker. And the expectation here is that it's worth a million dollars, but after 36 days, it still hasn't sold. Probably because there's a, renters in there and they're making it difficult for them to show the property. But at the same time, um, 36 days it shouldn't sell in 30 it should have been sold in 16 days 17 days so my suggestion to this agent would be to uh let's see composition roof would be to drop it down to 800 and get the listing sold right it's obviously it's not worth a million dollars because nobody's willing to pay a million dollars for this house based on the condition and location and the market condition compared to other houses in that area. I just did a CMA uh, video, training video for my agents, because I do that every year, teaching them how to do comparative market analysis. It's important so you can see what your home value is, so you know what to expect, right? But understand that that's real time. That, that number that you get, or that range you get is ready to sell today not six months down the road okay because anything can happen we can go into world war three we can have an economic collapse we can have a global economic collapse we can have um gas going sky high up to ten dollars however center costco just sold me some gas for three dollars and 89.9 cents um a gallon which that's amazing so there you go all right so let's see to that's totally so my listing is right right here so 
So yeah, we're just across the freeway, freeway from each other. The other listing that I have, we're closing next week and it's all going smooth. So that's the intention, right? We want to make sure that the listing goes sells fast, but also goes smooth. So we were keeping in touch with the sell, the buyers, the buyer's agent, making sure everything's done right. All right, that's it. I was going to do this, but I never, the, the inventory watch, I'll, I'll get to it and put, put pictures down below in the blog so you can take a look. I'm Vito with Abitano. Have a fantastic weekend. I'm off to work. I have to go empty out some, some uh, personal property of a, of a listing and take it to the to the take it to the dump we'll see you out there have a great weekend bye now